It's about to get real cheesy in here. Welcome back everyone. Today we're tackling a side dish, or could actually be eaten as a full dish, from Aubrac in the middle of the Massif Central near the Pyrenees. We're making the aligo. Aligo is a very, very cheesy mashed potato and it's not that easy to make, but trust me, it is extremely delicious. Unfortunately, here in Canada, we are not able to get that cheese that we need, the Tom de Pyrenees. So I'm gonna use some Gruyere and a bit of mozzarella. It's not classic, but the problem is I cannot get it. So you'll have to forgive me on this one, but trust me, it will be equally as delicious. Two things remain to be done for us to get cooking. And as it was, as it was, as always, for you to smash the subscribe button. Let's go. All right, so first we're gonna pick up a potato. We're gonna make sure they are a little bit starchy, okay? Then from here, we're going to peel them all and place them on water so they don't oxidize. After that, we're going to dice them. You don't have to really do too small or too big. Just make sure all your cuts are regular so they cook the same amount of time. Once you've done so, you're gonna place them into a pot with, with cold water and then we're gonna add some salt to it, okay? I'm gonna place some thyme, some garlic that I'm going to smash and peel. And we're gonna cover it until it comes to a boil. In the meantime, we're gonna start working on the cheese. Obviously, I cannot get the Tom Fresh de Pyrenees, so I'm gonna use some Gruyere and some mozzarella so I can still get the strength of the cheese as well as the stringiness. Once I'm diced the mozzarella, I'm gonna place it back into its bowl, make sure it's also not too wet, as in we don't want extra moisture into the aligo. Next, I'm gonna work on the Gruyere. This is what's gonna really give it that strength and a beautiful flavor. And you want to make sure you dice them and you know grate them just so it's easy to mix it's not going to melt right away because you have to really work out the stretch i'm not going to throw away the crust and i'm going to put it in a pot with some butter and some cream which i will then put on a heat and i'm going to melt it on low heat for about two minutes or until it's completely melted our potatoes are cooked i'm going to strain them and i'm going to put them on my ricer okay we really want to make sure we also remove any of the aromatics once I passed it through the ricer, I'm gonna do one more time into the tummy so I have something very, very thin. From here, I'm gonna put it back onto the pot we used um, to cook the potato so it still has some starch in it. I'm gonna add a bit of more seasoning, salt and pepper, as well as my infused cream. We're gonna start mixing it and really go at it for probably 15 minutes to really, again, develop the stretch and the starch. I will then add the cheese in small quantities because too much at a time will be really hard for you to work it out. But look, we already have some string happening. For me, all we have to do is plate and enjoy, but look at that stretch. Oh my God, it is so delicious. And here we have it, a delicious side of cheesy mashed potato or aligo as we call it. It is not the right cheese, but it's very hard to get it in Canada, but we're gonna get the full experience anyway. I'm gonna have it with bread. I like to eat it like a fondue, but it will do well with any type of side. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to really subscribe. It really helps me in my videos, so I really appreciate it. I'm about to try this so you know what's next. I will see you on the next video.